So is this cocoa? Mm -hmm. What colors are we doing today, guys? Doing chateau gray, cream, country gray, and cocoa. 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 We got all these C's going on. All and we got here. So it's a good day for me. That's that's right. So we got C for <laughs> Courtney. Courtney, why don't you uh, take it away? Do some introduction. Hello, my name is Courtney, and this is. Stephanie. Stephanie is a very good customer of ours. So yep. she decided to hop on today and hang out with us. A yeah. I love it. So Steph, what do you do? Tell me, what's your business? My business is Sweet Pickens. I do refinished furniture. I decorate. Interior design Interior work, design. Consulting. Layout yeah. of rooms. Yeah. Anything people need from a high level, low level, you'll get as much involved as they Any want. Any budget. Any budget. Any budget. And you have a, a party line, and you're local here in Rochester, New York. I'm in Williamson, Basic, New York. Yep, yes. Western New York, so you'll you'll travel, but um, you will help people have, what's your little, your party line that you like to share? I think everybody should have fabulous things. Yeah. On a low budget. So if you have, yep, yeah, you can make dreams happen. That's right. So people should definitely That's reach what out. It's all about. I tagged you in the top. So and so one, one of the things you like to right. use is right. obviously chalk paint. Love it. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> You're funny. I use it every day. <laughs> love it. I love the wax. I like how it finishes. The colors are amazing. You gotta come on down and try them out. <laughs> you're so cute. I love this. So you're so cute. <laughs> and and you are an artist at our festival. And again, we're gonna we're gonna be doing uh, some interesting stuff. But we never totally revealed this. I think I'm gonna let you make the announcement, Courtney. A very special big oh, announcement. Yeah. I mean, we are excited and we're enthusiastic. And, yeah. And so if we had a drum, we'd be doing a drum roll. So what would we, we want to announce we have a special guest. Lovely Annie Sloan is coming to our festival. So this lovely name that you see right on the front of the can, Annie Sloan Paint. Yeah, that woman is coming here to upstate New York to our festival. So she'll be doing some demos, answering questions, book signings. We are stoked. We are That is stoked. so amazing. Yeah. Y'all yeah. got to come on down. Yeah, yeah. so that's down. a huge thing. We'll be posting details. We're extremely excited. Yes. So that's huge. If you're tuning in, yeah. Courtney, you just made a huge announcement. That's we'll, huge. Yeah, we'll do a thing. We're extremely honored Love and it. grateful. So yes, it's big, 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 big. real big. <laughs> okay, so big, it's Friday, big. and we were going to talk about um, some colors. So yeah. why don't we get right into it? And again, you know, it's been a while since we. Mm -hmm. We touch base about that 2018, 2019 globalization transition. Do you want to just add a very quick, just mention that? Yep. So Annie Sloan decided that she wanted her product to be across the board the same. So no matter what country you buy your product in, whether it's Russia, US, wherever you are, you get the same um, product in the same color, most importantly. So the That's biggest awesome. change is we've gone from quartz to liters. So um, this is a liter. You know you have a liter container. If on the front, there's this lovely little color swatch that has the name on it, and also... Don't turn it over. Oh, yeah, no, the, yeah, lids, yeah. the lids are different. The lids are a little bit different, so that's how you know you have a liter. And does it tell you, uh, where's the unit of measure on there? Yep, it's right on the back. It's, a, it's covered by paint. Oh, right there, so 33.8 fluid ounces. Yes. So One liter. You're getting a little bit more paint for the same price. Yes, for at us. the Purple Painted Lady. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, that's so fun. we... um are showcasing some colors and we're also comparing them maybe to the um color that was in the and court container the court. Yep. most are the same but some have slightly slightly drifted yeah, just a little drifted just slightly i know <laughs> a lot of you have been asking me for cocoa for a long time uh i'm so sorry but we just got cocoa in so now we're able to show you guys um yep. and it's in our stores and it's, it's on the website It's in our stores and on the website so we're able to show you guys this lovely comparison if you join us in the middle of the week we actually did a lovely turn those down just a together. smidge um, and show this one off. But the sample board over on this side is the cocoa in the court. It mm. comes through sometimes a little green with our Does lighting because we do have fluorescent lights in Turn the shop. It. So, um, and you know, that's always important to take into account when you're looking at a color swatch or sample boards is the yeah. color in your home, mm -hmm. the color in the location you're viewing them in. Yes, definitely. If you're not right. sure about a color, definitely get a color chart. 
Yes. Um, those are a great tool. So this is the cocoa that's in the liter, correct? correct? Okay, correct. so let's put that in the blue basket behind you. And um, they're very, very similar, correct? Yes, um, they're very similar. How do you describe cocoa? Cocoa is like a medium brown. Um, I think it's a little bit more neutral than it was in previous um, containers, the quartz. I think it's more accepting of both warm and cool colors, which I like. It's kind of got a little gray in it, too. It's got a little bit of a gray to it, yeah. I sometimes felt the cocoa that was in the court when I painted picked up um, a little bit of a mauve. Yeah, a like mauve. a like a mauve hue. This, I would agree with that. This does not. Mm -hmm. No, this is much, this is much more of a neutral, kind of neutral medium brown. Okay. Gray. Okay. Yeah. You can okay. See the gray very good. Yeah. Um. So, what do we want to do now? Do you just want to go through? Do we want to put some? Put some on a board? Yeah, I figured I'd have Stephanie paint some boards and then we'll we'll chat while she's doing that. So we'll start. <laughs> roll up your sleeves. <laughs> roll up your sleeves. She just stopped I'm, in. Guys, she I'm stopped in to purchase around. paint and we got her into a I'm Facebook Live. Her to work. <laughs> so if you ever want to be on our Facebook Live, just, just come on in. down on a Friday. Um, okay, so we're gonna start with Chateau Gray. If you guys joined us in previous weeks, you might have seen Chateau Gray already, but we're gonna touch on it again. Um, so Chateau Gray is this beautiful. Love it. Beautiful, oh, mossy green, almost like a sage color. It's an awesome yeah. color. Yeah, so if you want to go ahead and start painting, I can bring over the sample. Can can so, so really, uh, Shai asked can a question. Yeah. Can you open that? Sure. Shai asked a question. She wants to know if the color charts have the new color. So okay. it's hard to tell, I guess, depending, but these inserts are probably yes. going to know it. So, so. Um, if you're talking about the new colors as in the leader colors, Yes, it has all of the updated colors on there. Ours do. Ours do, yes. So if you have the local stockists, I'm not sure about them. But all of our color charts are updated. We also have a new thing with the color charts. If you've gotten one in the past, it's a little bit different. We have this little insert here. That's going to have three other colors on there. That's Svenska Blue, Chicago Gray, and then Lem Lem we're familiar with. We already had Lem Lem here. What, and so Annie, Annie did this because what does she call this out on here? She uh, she calls it out as her. Um, oh, just introducing. They're in the like the edition. newer colors in limited edition. Okay, yeah. so and also they know they have an older color chart if if their paint swatches are um, if their Separate. paint swatches are part of that bifold. Yeah. Then if they're actually on that bifold, you have an old color chart. I do not. We're no, all no, out of No, 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 oh. meaning if they have that oh, at their sorry. home. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. So the new yes. ones right now currently are two separate documents. Right. It's a little insert that goes into the actual folded part. Okay? Cool. So that's how you know you have a new color chart. The only colors that the uh, color chart does not have are the Charleston Trio, and that's Furl, Tilton, and Rodmel. Thank you so much. We have pictures of these with the containers on our website. So if you're curious as to what they look like, we have them there. We also have descriptions of the colors themselves. Which one's which? So Furl is at the top. That's that lovely green color. Then Tilton is in the middle. That's like a, a nice sunflower yellow. And then Rodmel's at the bottom, which I pick it up as more of like an eggplant purple. It's a very, it's, very it's, deep, a, it's, it's more like a, I, I don't know, think it's totally true, but it's yeah. almost like a smoky purple. Yeah, it has like a gray. I don't know, like if somebody's doing eyeshadow, I could see it. a gray that. mood to it. That sounds weird, but it sounds right. Yeah, sounds but nice. it's like a very nice. Yes. Yeah, I love it's it. It's a very, it's a very beautiful color. I love these trios, but they're not on the color chart. And we just recently shared on our Instagram page. Um, I don't know the name of who, the stockist who did it, but they did an amazing hutch oh, furl with hutch. furl, and they used the iron orchid design transfers, yeah, mm -hmm. and it was beautiful. Yeah, it was so, gorgeous. If you don't already follow us on Instagram, definitely check that out and check out that hutch because it oh my beautiful. gosh, it's I want to paint everything furl now because I saw that hutch. Just so you um, know, Maureen says you have a very she loves your top. Thank you. So thank just you. You're you know. so sweet. Good one. Oh, look how fast you painted that. So yeah. that is the Chateau Gray. Yeah, Chateau Gray. That's like a mossy gray. When it's a little bit wet, I, I noticed it's a little bit lighter. I'm going to bring over the dried sample Yeah, board. so that's a good... Can we expand on what you just said? Sure. Say that that's one great. more time. Yeah, so when it's wet, it picks up Let's just go, a little bit lighter. Up. And it yeah, could just be you. the light hitting it. But I wanted to make sure that we put this dried next to the wet. Mm -hmm. That way you can see them together. That Thank comment you. you just said, though... It's amazing because people don't see that. So. So, yes. <laughs> So a lot of, I get actually, we get a lot of calls here at the shop from people who say, I just painted something in whatever color it is. It's not the color I expected it to be. And I usually ask them, is it dry? 
And how many coats? And how many coats so did you this put is on? A, this is a big deal when it comes yes. to emperor silk. Oh, absolutely. Because emperor silk looks kind of rosy yes. before it has... Before I think you dry. need two coats, and once it's... Once you have sealed it with the wax, yeah, it will. So there's the Emperor's Silk. Yeah. So some of our customers have noticed, and I notice this too when painting with it, especially on the first coat, when it's wet, it actually looks more like a pink than a red. But once it dries and you do a second coat, it does deepen to more of a rose red. Yeah. So just yeah. don't freak out. That's the main point there. Just don't, don't freak out and trust the process. Okay, so again, we have the Chateau Grey. What you're seeing here is the leader. And now I'm gonna bring in this, just right there. That was the court that is now retired. Okay. Okay. So that goes back in the bin. Let's come on up here. All right, now that we're done with Chateau Grey, we'll move that aside. We're gonna go right into Country Grey. Um, Country Grey is another one that we actually already touched upon a little bit in another Facebook Live. But I wanted to do it again just so you guys can see it one more time. Also, for this one, I actually wanted to point out something about the lids. So if you buy a leader from us, they're a little different than the court. They have a little bit of a flat rim. They're not rolled over. That means that when you open it, we definitely recommend that you use a can opener. Whichever side you use, use your preference. I think Trish likes to use this side. I do. I prefer to use the flatter end. What's okay, important whatever though, works for I know, you. whatever works, is the important part is getting that can opener all the way underneath that lid and just doing it very gently and going around and taking so your that's time. It's like a little bit of a metal seat. It comes out yes. about an eighth of an inch and it's flat. There's yes. no round edge to it. Yeah, so if I just went in with my can opener very rough and just tried to pry it open with one, I would actually warp the lid and actually bend this yeah. upward. You don't want this little white flat part standing go, tur, or bending 90, right. 90 degrees. You don't want this is the up. hardest when you first open the can, like the Absolutely. very first time. And just like that, it just popped up. You can feel it when you're opening it. It'll actually release a little bit and that's how you know that the can is open and you can pull it off. Okay. The beautiful thing about these lids is also, you don't need a mallet to close them. So you can just use the palm of your hand and press down and it actually, you can actually kind of hear it sucking back in. It yeah. sucks. Like right the in. metal to metal, it just kind yeah, of... It's like, yeah, and, and you don't weird. you don't want to use a mallet or a hammer because no. you will warp the lid then. Mm -hmm. The only thing I would use the mallet for is if you've already warped the lid and you've closed the container already, then I would take the mallet and gently tap and it'll actually flatten that edge back down for you a little bit. You just need to do it lightly. Do not pound it just lightly, okay? And it's once it's the first time off, then it's it's no big deal at all. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's talk really quick. Um, so when you get done, I'm a stickler on this. Oh yeah. See how there's just some little paint here? Yeah. <laughs> Try not to, when you're at home, clean off clean your, your wet, clean off your reservoir, yeah. like with a wet wipe or something, because it'll make things so much easier if you can put your lids on there nice and neat and clean. And sometimes I'll take the lid and I'll run it under hot water yeah. and I'll remove and all of that off. and keep it nice and clean. clean. If you want to store your paint and not have any issues, good idea. It's a good idea. Absolutely. So I'm going to have... You go ahead and paint. Again. Stephanie can paint the cream. Um, okay. So country gray is one of those controversial. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was jumping ahead. I said cream. Oh, I'm sorry. So you are painting. You said it correctly. I did it wrong. So this oh. is country gray, and I think this color. I love it. It's a wonderful neutral. It, it is. is. It goes with anything. So that's actually a funny point to point out. Um, in the court version, it actually had a slight green undertone to it. This 100%. is the court board. Um, so in some of our locations, it would look green, and in some of our locations, it would look like tan or um, like a like a beige. Um, so a lot of people ended up buying the country gray without taking a color chart home first, looking at it after they painted it, and it was different color than they thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. The good news about this version of the country gray, which is a leader container, this is the one that's going to be available from now until whenever, um, is it doesn't have, I know, I don't want to say forever, but... Well, there's no end in sight, there's no so... End in sight. <laughs> this is the one that we have now. <laughs> This doesn't have so much of a green undertone to it. It's actually much more of a neutral. Yeah, that would, this color would go well with quite a few. Oh my God, anything. Yeah. <coughs> you can mix it with, if you need me to grab anything, let me know. Yeah, it's okay. I'm gonna grab one from each end yeah. of the spectrum. You could mix it with blues, reds. So what norms. do you have in your hands right now? So this is the Abusan. These are both the leader containers. My favorite. Is your favorite. This is the Abusan blue. That's the leader, and this is the primer red. 
Country gray would be a wonderful color for kitchen cabinetry. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you know what's interesting about this color? Hmm. Uh, what about if you had gray? I mean, it, is it a warm or is it a cool? I feel like it can go. Go where it's a, so, such a neutral that it can accept warmer and cooler colors. Absolutely. Wow, oh, it's nice. It's yeah. so So even now, gorgeous. even though it's still wet, you can already see that the green has come right out of the color. And it gray. doesn't have any yellow undertones yeah. at all. Yeah. yeah. Which Absolutely. is so Awesome, because I don't like yellow oh, undertones. Great. We don't like yellow. We I like love yellow. yellow. I, like, I, like I don't like the yellow undertones because yeah. it looks dirty. Yes. So and why that don't you, doesn't look dirty. Why don't you put that next to it so and talk about that? Here. So um, this is the Paris Gray in the Leader, which, as you know, if you've watched our Facebook Lives about the Paris Gray, the Paris Gray used to be a uh, silvery blue, almost like what Chicago is. So it used to be something like mm -hmm. this. And now it's a bit of a warmer gray, more, more of a medium tone gray, which I love. My I camera's like not picking like it up very too. well, though. It's I can not, tell you that. No, the camera's it. picking it up very much cooler than it actually yes, is. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a nice, it's a very nice warmer gray. Yes. So comparative, um, the country gray's more, I think, oatmeal Yeah, it colored. looks like oatmeal. Yeah. Whereas so you have the country gray right here, mm -hmm. and you have the Paris gray dried in the back. Now, this is just one coat of country gray yes. on raw wood. Correct. So, okay. Yeah, it is important to note that even though a color has the name, has that word gray in the name, it does not mean it's like a gray. gray. Yeah, right. That's why it's really important when you read our, if you go online on our shopping cart, we do have descriptions of all the colors. So in Chateau Gray, it says it's a mossy green with like, almost like a sage color. Yeah. Um, and then in Paris Gray, it tells you this is a medium gray. So if you ever have any questions about um, the tonage of colors or what might work, what might not work. You can always call or email us. If you send us pictures, that's like amazing because then we can actually like figure it out with you. Okay, so um, we just talked about uh, country gray. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you guys did this sample this board. Lovely sample board. Okay. I'm gonna put her See, aside. that looks great with that too. Pam says, yeah, Pam Bevan says she really loves the new country gray. What's up, Pam? It's pretty cool. I like yeah. it too. I like I it do. too. All right. So this was a can that had seen better days in transit I to know. us. <laughs> Our poor baby got dented in transit. <laughs> but it's okay, because we don't have any misfit children here. We use them all. So um, this is our lovely cream. We have not done a video wow. on cream yet. So we're excited. We're going to do a new color. So I'm going to have you already just go ahead and start painting. I'm going to give this a little shake, because I shook it before the video. But okay. Shake, sure. shake, shake. Whenever Stephanie, you get paint oh, in. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. yeah shake, whenever shake, you shake. get paint in, you should definitely give it shakes. Um, we usually recommend 50? about 50 times. Even um, flip it over maybe for like a half hour before yeah, you open it. Definitely, absolutely. And then give it a good shake a few times. And if you order from us, you also get paint sticks, so you can also use those to, to stir, stir it up. Yeah, stir up yeah. The paint. All right. This is uh, also very pretty. This is have, more. So have you done any sample boards with this? Because I have not. I this like this color first. more than uh, the cream in the court because mm -hmm. it just seems a, this seems a little bit more yellow. Yes. It does. So the cream in the court, I feel it was much more yellow. Um, a oh, lot of people did. Oh my God. This is you know, so much more neutral. Annie likes to uh, compare this to like clotted cream. I love this. And once actually. upon a time, I used to own a tea room called Tallulah's Tea Room. Tallulah's Tea Room. It was back yeah. in the. Um, Oh gosh, early two thousands. Early days of yeah, it was the whole thing. You know, people would, dr would dress up in Victorian gowns, and uh, we used to serve clotted cream. Clotted cream at Tallulah's Tea Room. So I I should have like like a cup of tea. What I'm saying. We'd have tea and little finger sandwiches. But anyways, this reminds so, me of like custard. You think? Oh, oh. so awesome. This is an awesome color. This is. I think. I'm not sure I if think I can actually... customers might in, like. You guys might enjoy this color a lot more because the number one complaint we always received about cream was that it was way too yellow. Mm -hmm. And this is much more toned down. This is like a this is gorgeous. like a baby yellow, like the Ooh. pale yellow that you might see in like a. I don't, I don't it's really more cream than yellow. I, mm -hmm. I, I it's a lot I, more cream. Yeah, yeah. It's really uh, hard to pick up on this. I'm gonna try to oh, it's zoom in a little bit. Maybe this. So this was the. That's the court right here. Is the so court. now you can actually see the difference in the yeah, color. Yeah, shows a huge difference. Yeah. 
the screen's really picking up on it. See, this I would always tell people was a baby yellow. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that what you were saying? The cream that was in the court container. See, I was thinking about Laura um, when she was a baby. Her baby blanket was this color. Yeah, this is definitely more, I think when people say cream, this would be this it. This is more what mm -hmm. they're, it's, it's not like, um, an, It's not ivory, because some people get cream and ivory yeah. mixed up. Yeah. This reminds me a lot of like um, margarine. Like the stick mm -hmm. butter. You see, I don't know. I think it's like more This creamy. might be a little bit, I don't know. Maybe my butter is just not as yellow mm. as everyone else's butter. <laughs> Maybe it's not. I have non-yellow butter. Do you butter. butter your bread on both sides? <laughs> <Absolutely>. Just joking. <laughs> just joking. You have to have the buttery taste on the top and the bottom. That's right. <laughs> Andrew oh, yeah. says, oh wait, hold on. This is so funny. I like country fried steak too. I don't know if there was a typo or she meant it. Kind of I love country. She wrote, I, oops, I love the country gray. <laughs> so that's funny. <laughs> that just made me hungry. So, so Carol, Caroline's asking, so depending on the paint size, the tone is different. So you want to touch, just touch base on that again. So okay. at a high level. Yeah. So the leader to court. Right. Or court to leader. Or court to, court to leader. The court's being retired. The court is being retired, and some of the colors are shifting a little bit. On our website, we do have some courts in some colors. I'm seeing Antibes is one of them. We have, if we still have courts available left for certain colors, we do have them on the website along with the leaders. So while you're watching these Facebook Lives, if you see a color that you really like and that you really want to paint with, by the way, we're painting with the leader containers. Mm -hmm. You can find the leaders on our website and you want to make sure that before you place your order that the title of the, of the color I actually has like the word leader in it. So okay. if somebody did a project and they That's used amazing. paint over a year and a half ago, mm -hmm. they're going to want to make sure that they explain that if they walk in a store yes. or if they're... Uh, calling us yes mm -hmm. because that's where we really need to provide that customer service yes. and support so we're doing our best and our diligence to ask every customer are you starting or finishing a project um, when we ask that it doesn't mean did you paint it a while ago and you're doing touch-ups now if you're doing touch-ups you need to let us know because the color may not match depending on what mm -hmm. color you're going with Oh, sorry. No, Go you're ahead. fine. I don't want to interrupt you. You're on the road. Yeah. <laughs> so um, even if you're in one of our stores and you start talking to them about colors and all that jazz and they get you to the checkout counter, um, we should be asking that. But if they don't, you need to mention something like, I painted this a year ago. Is this color going to match? No, and, and it's really important because we have people that tune in from all yes. over the U.S. And if they, yes. they're walking into their local stockists, it's critical they share that. Absolutely. And, and no, Chicago gray is not changing. It is a brand new color. Oh, oh. That's a brand new color. And yeah. Chateau Art Chicago Gray is a brand new color to us. Um, so the color that it is that you see in our stores and online in our pictures, that is the color that you will get. And now this can get a little layer of confusion. So yeah. Chicago Gray is packaged in the leader. Mm -hmm. And this is very similar to what color that was in the court? It's very similar to Paris Gray if you bought it in the court version. So the Paris Gray in the court is a silvery... Uh, uh, cool blue. Yeah, it's or a cool, cool gray. A cool gray with a slight blue undertone to it. And that's mm -hmm. pretty much what Chicago Gray is. I think there might be a little bit of difference, but it's pretty darn close. So if you really liked the Paris Gray in the court version... The color you're wanting to go in with now is Chicago Gray. And I can actually compare right now. So explain what we have here. So we have Chicago Gray on top. That's your cooler blue-toned gray. And then you have Paris Gray underneath. That's more of a warm-toned gray. So um, I think the Paris Gray now can still go with warmer or cooler tones. Mm -hmm. yes. But it's more of a medium, true, neutral gray. So these are gray. packaged in the, the leader containers. Which way are we going to go? That is oh, yep. the Chicago Gray. And then this is Paris Gray. Both available. Both available on our website. In our shops. Go visit shops. your local stockist. Absolutely. So okay. You go with that. Okay. There you go. All right. The last board that we have to do, um, we already have a board, but I want to show you guys the difference between wet and dry again, is cocoa. So I'm going to steal it from over here. Give her a quick shake. <gasps> our lovely mail lady. Wave and Hello. say hi. hi. <laughs> She's awesome. She's the best. <laughs> lady ever okay so you've right. already done one that's dry i've already done mm -hmm. one that's dry and can you I've put noticed... it near there just so we sure. can see absolutely the... while i was painting this board i noticed that when it was wet it looked a little bit different than when it was dry so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to paint a board so you can see it wet versus dry also 
we're gonna compare the one coat versus two coats because okay. there is a difference in that as well. So, yeah. so Amy Farrigan is asking, she's looking for old white in the court version. Okay. Amy, if you have a local stockist, go see them. Otherwise, if you shoot us a message here through Facebook, we don't have any, but we can um, connect you with probably another stockist who does. Yes. And um, if you're still unable to find the old white in the court version, we did do a Facebook Live about mixing. I don't know where it went. It kind of got, I think it got, everything got jumbled after the um, home, home show. show. Um, we did do a Facebook Live regarding ratios and how to create the, a color very similar to the old white in um, the court version. So if you want to shoot me a message afterwards, I could send you that video, but the ratio is two parts pure, which is leader. that stark white color to one part cream, which is in the liter container so as well. Is, okay. So we use all liter containers to create that color. So, okay. and we couldn't find the difference. I actually painted two sample boards, one with the old white court and then one with the mixture. Bye. And I brought them to Trish to see if she could figure out. And uh, I don't think you could figure no, out. No, they, they are almost identical. So if you go on our website, the purple, painted the lady. purple Painted Lady, you can search Old White in the upper right column in the most recent yep. post, yep. has a picture of those sample boards yep. that you created. And you can also find that video on YouTube. We have a YouTube page as well, which all of our Facebook Lives go on YouTube, so if you're jumping in the middle and you're like, ah, I missed it, number one, once the video's over, you can always rewind and watch it again. And number two, we always post them on YouTube, so you can always check them out there. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now you can kind of see. I'm going to move this. In, I'm going to move this to the other side, actually. There we go. So now you can kind of see. There's a little bit difference. So this is. these are both cocoa. Yes. I don't know if it's picking. It's it does. Yeah, well. So this much looks much lighter, I think, than the yeah, uh, dried version. It looks. It's looking lighter on the video than it actually is in okay. person, mm -hmm. but it is lighter, and you can tell the difference. So do you want to explain what's what's the difference between yeah. these two boards? Yeah, so the difference between these two boards, number one, this is only one coat oh. of cocoa and it's wet. We just applied it. This board received two coats of cocoa and clear wax. So clear wax will not change the color, but it'll enhance it a little bit. It's almost mm -hmm. like if you had a chalkboard and you licked your finger and you put a little dot on the chalkboard, that's exactly what it's going to do. So um, colors might look chalky, when you first paint them and they first dry, but when you put the wax on it, it enhances it. And I actually kind of, I can show you kind of with this board right now. Because it's starting to. So yeah, you can see actually the difference between the two. So you see how the wet side looks a bit more enhanced, a bit more colorful, and then the dry looks a bit more chalky, a bit more um, washed out. Now it's not exactly the same with wax. It'll look a little bit different, but the wax will enhance the color and kind of bring it back to life. Absolutely. And that's one coat of Chateau Grey on that one board? One coat, mm -hmm. yep. Okay, and these are all packaged in the liter containers. All the liters. Okay, and this is Courtney, and this is Stephanie. So, okay, I just want yep. to cover that. All right. Okay, um, what else? So, so we do kind of want to give you guys a sneak peek at next week's Facebook Live because we're super, we're super, super excited for it. So I'm going to have Trish go around that side and I'm going to go around Okay, the I'm going to go slow because I don't like it when I move fast because it makes me all <laughs> funny and dizzy on the camera. Sure, so I'm right. sorry if it's moving a little quicker. You get to pan, you get to see the mothership store. Yeah. So you can see a little bit of it anyway. Oh, uh, you know what? We still have some Annie Sloan candles oh, um, yeah. available on our website. Just want to mention that. We do. So. Hey, hey. Okay, but so. But you didn't know she made candles too. Um, okay, so this lovely clock, we've had it for, I think, two years now. Oh, I don't know. Um, don't tell anybody. I think it's been a while. <laughs> but we love it. It's beautiful. But we thought we could probably step it up a notch. So you guys have seen, we did a Facebook Live, I think last week, about the Iron Orchid Designs, um, their transfers and their stamps. So we have picked out some stamps and a transfer that we kind of want to try on this clock. So... Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of you have been sending me questions about transfers on mirrors or glass. This is the perfect Facebook Live for you because we're going to do the Bohemian border transfer on the glass of the clock. I think we're actually going to do it around the bottom base. I like that idea. So, Because then somebody can have things in exactly, there and it hides their stuff. I'm loving it. So we're going to do that next Friday, which is April 12th. And these are available on the website. These are, are available on the, the website. Stores. 
And we're also gonna play around, you saw us do it last week, we're gonna do a little bit more this time. We're gonna play around with Rose Toil, which is a um, we're gonna do those, I stamp, think. yeah. And we're gonna do that around the top. So um, the top sides, they're kind of bland, they need a little loving. So we're probably gonna do some stamps, probably around the sides and then carrying around to the front. So. Play around with it. And I like that one. Yeah. I kinda see the other ones too, there's so many to choose from. I know. And the other thought we was... We might surprise and, and like bring in a second one. Or the other idea second. too is um, using a little bit of that transfer and somehow putting just a little bit of it in this corner or something like, yeah, you know, just to pull it into that. It's I don't 33. know. 33. We probably will have some left over. We could probably mess around. Oh, you, yeah, you will because that, yeah, that's that not, probably totals maybe yeah. two feet total, you yeah. think? We'll, ha we'll definitely have some left over, so we'll kind of play around with it a little bit. So let's go back over. So we're coming around. Lucky number seven. Lucky number seven. <laughs> um, how? So it was a lovely day with sea colors. I love it. <coughs> lovely. Day. It was nice that Stephanie just showed up and. Courtney yeah. starts with the C too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, even if you're not coming to join us on our Facebook lives, you can join us through Facebook as you're doing right now. Now if you're like me and sometimes you forget what time it is <laughs> and you forget that there's a Facebook live scheduled, um, we have a text alert system so that you don't have to remember. We'll remind you. So our text alert system will remind you 10 minutes before we go live that we are going to go live. Um, so all you have to do is text the word chalk paint to the number 74121. I know... That's like a phone number, right? Yes, that's the phone mm -hmm. number. So I know that it's not typically as long as a, a normal phone number would be, but I promise you it'll work. So if you just type in 74121 in that number slot and then text the word chalk paint, it needs to be all one word. If you have a smartphone, it's going to try to autocorrect it to two. Just make sure it doesn't do that. Send that word off and you'll get a text back that confirms that you've been entered into the system. And if you want to opt out at any time, you can just text the word stop. You're awesome. Can you hold the phone? I'm going to grab a sample pot. You can just do it slow. I'll be right back. Oh, do you want to, we can pan over to, oh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so there was a question. What are the new, oh. what are the, what's the difference in the sample pots? So, you know, in the past, the sample pots came in a little plastic container. Um, and they had a black plastic lid. Now they come in these, it's almost like a mini me of the actual metal leader. That's just that's like cool. same little container, same material. Yeah. Um, the lids are basically the same, but for some reason I find these easier to open. I think they're, they might be like a little thicker. I feel like they are. Yeah. Absolutely. I like them. These are, um, we have them in all our stores and mm -hmm. they're on our website available to, for purchase. They're noted as the 120 milliliter sample pots. Yeah, it says sample pots, and then it says Tester? 120 milliliters. But you know, you know, you know the difference by the price. Um, you can tell because the liters are more expensive. So pay attention to the price. Um, and uh, but in all the stores, you know, these uh, sample pots are sort of slowly coming in from our distributor. Yeah. So we are very fortunate because Annie Sloan chalk paint is um, so beautiful, so easy to use that the demand is quite high. Um, the manufacturer is totally catching up because we had a little bit of a paint drought. You probably didn't notice we do our best on inventory control. Um, but sample pots at this point uh, are now starting to get really replenished. Mm -hmm. So we do not have cocoa sample pots. We actually do. They just came in. They came in with our last shipment. So they we are. We have cocoa sample yeah, pots. And they're on our website. So you can check them out there. Okay. So there you go. We do. So if you're looking for something specific, a certain sample pot color, um, call us, text us, 585-750-6056. Come on down. We have used cars. No, I'm just joking. Um, <laughs> but we, you know, do. call that number. Actually, Courtney is selling her car. But, um, <laughs> You can call or text that number. That's only if you don't have a local stockist. If you have someone local, go see them. We always say make them your best friend. They're very knowledgeable. Yes. They can make sure that they're getting something in that you've been wanting. And they probably have it already in the shop, yeah. too. So that was one question. Um, it was a question on sample pots. I don't think there's anything else. I guess I will just say that um, when we learned about Annie coming to our fall festival, um, well, that's just mind-blowing. And for me, 
you know, I started retailing uh, Annie Sloan chalk paint almost 10 years ago. You know, the story was I was staying home with my daughter um, and, well, yeah, yeah, about a yeah. little over 10 years ago. And I um, discovered chalk paint because I was painting murals all over in the city where I live. And then I started painting furniture and I really disliked the whole sanding, stripping, priming. So I went online and started to do research and I came across a blog by a wonderful woman named Amy Chalmers and her blog is called Maison Decor. Mm -hmm. She's out of Boston and she's uh, very class, like love her style. And she was painting her kitchen in the color cream. And I thought to myself, now why would you use chalk paint <laughs> or chalkboard paint on a kitchen cabinet? <laughs> I had never heard of chalk paint before. So I started to write her and she was so gracious. She actually wrote me back and answered my questions. And from there, I thought, you know what? I want to try this. So I ordered a couple containers of paint. Louis Blue and Paris Gray were my very first colors. And I started to use them and I was blown away, like just blown away. And from that experience, I just started painting so many pieces of furniture that I had a barn sale at my house with like 10 other artist friends. We had maybe 300 people come and I, I sold all the furniture. And it was at that moment, I remember telling my husband, Steve, I'm like, I'm like, Steve, I'm like, honey, I'm like, I want to, I want to, I love this stuff. This is like amazing. Like in his world, he's a programmer. I'm like, this is like an, the internet to me. <laughs> like, this is huge. And he's like, yeah, he goes, honey, that's so great. He goes, you can, you can keep painting. Don't worry. And I'm like, no, no. I'm like, I don't want to just paint. I'm like, I want to, I want to help people with this product. I want to, I want to show people, like have them discover it and, and be able to sell it. Anyway, and that's a whole nother story. But anyway, so that was, that was about over 10 years ago. And so from that moment to now, and to have Annie come to our festival, mm. it's like a full circle. It is, it's like, I, I use it as like winning the lottery. Mm -hmm. I mean, how, what else can I say? I'm. We're ecstatic. We're Missed. yeah, we are. It's we're extremely grateful. So September twenty first and twenty second in Western New York in a little teeny town, Massad in New York, we host our annual art festival. It's like a, a big market. Um, there are no direct sale companies, so <clears throat> Annie's coming. I like um, that. I, I I made a little clip from the uh, movie Annie. If you ever went and saw the movie Annie okay. back in the early eighties, oh, and they're like. It. We got Annie. Did you ever see that song? Oh, my God. It's my Most people favorite. probably can't remember. <laughs> so way anyways, back. here, give me my phone back. Cause... <laughs> oh, way back. Okay. I love it. Way That's back. hysterical. So, oh, way back. Uh, let's see here. I think. How much is next week's clock price? Oh, that's so cute. Maureen, we'll, we'll private message you. We'll let you know. Yeah, in fact, <laughs> maybe we should message her because if, she is, if she's very interested and she wants to do something specific, can we come. can custom it for yeah. her. So, with the okay, so next week I'm not here. Yeah. What so are you going to do? Hannah and I will be working on that clock. It'd probably be Hannah in front oh, yeah. with you guys. One uh, uh, she is our Iron Orchid design guru. So uh, she'll be doing probably the transfer. Um, but we'll be here to answer all of your questions regarding the Iron Orchid design stuff, um, the stamps, the transfers, whatever you guys have. So if you're interested in those or you want to know how to use them, you can either buy a transfer ahead of time and then do Which it you will have to do because it's the easiest thing ever it is that's why i'm here today <laughs> to get some transfers yeah it's amazing it makes your piece fabulous yeah yeah seriously fabulous so, yeah if you want to add some artistic bling to it but you're not sure if you can hand paint that yourself we have the thing for you. <laughs> we have the thing for you. So tune in April 12th, next Friday. Hannah and I will be here to do that. Noon Eastern time. Noon Eastern Noon time. Eastern. And make sure you get your text message reminder for that. So we'll see you guys. Oops, sorry. We'll see you guys next week, April 12th, noon Eastern time. Bye. Bye.